Hey guys, it's Zikola and Telemus PV is out already. I was quite surprised. I thought it would be like how every PV was released, right? It, it's always released during the version update developer live stream, which version 7.4 will be this Saturday. So I was really excited for that. But the fact that it's out early, um, and apparently her her name is Mad Pleasure Shadow Bringer. Very suitable for the title of uh, the shoe, Shoe of Pleasure. She looks so good. She really looks so good. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. So let's let's watch it together now, guys. All right, guys. Telemas PV. Let's go. Let me just make sure it's hundred. Okay, let's go. Let us enjoy. I'm I'm too excited. I need to shut up. I need to shut up. Behold you. Someone's calling me. Shish. <sighs> 这还真是一场成功的宴会可是啊可是啊 I haven't played her event yet because it, it isn't out in global and see. But we, we can already get a glimpse of her lore here. <laughs> Listen well. I really love this theatrical, like, like she is really, really very mesmerizing. Okay. She reminds me of like that new Genshin character as well. Siora? I don't remember the name, dang it. Ooh. The legs! The sitting posture! <laughs> oh, the music! Oh, nice! That, that adding like the the piano, piano. Oh, Hong Kong impact. Wait, is that it? That can't be it. What? Wait, this is not the PV. This is a. Oh, that's when she realized. That's when Zikola realized this is the promotional video. It's not like the version 7.4 PV. I see. It's like ah, uh, they released something like this for Durando Palatinus Equinox as well, and they also released one for Herschel of Rebirth and also Crimson Love Luna. Wow. So certain characters will get like a special PV video before their version update PV, the one with the like she comes out and you know you guys know what I'm talking about, the one with the bit, bit, the bit drop, and and then they will re review the character and then at the end it's like the jingle dun dun. Dun, 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 in like different variations, different renditions, right? So this is this is her promotional video. Okay, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I, I thought this was the PV. I found the name Chiori. She reminds me of Chiori. Yeah. I, I really like the facial expressions that they did for her. <laughs> just look, just look. She 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 is really like if anything, she's definitely the show of pleasure. She really is suitable for that title. With that kind of like <laughs> Girl is too good. Girl looks too good. And I love her gestures. It's so fitting for show of pleasure. <laughs> I think it's Hapsi Wait, let me hear that again. Yeah, it sounds like hopsicot. It's not. It's not an organ. I love it. I really love the. I really love the instrument that they use here. I I don't know for sure, but it certainly sounds like a hopsicot. And I think hopsicot is normally used in. I don't. I forgot what era. Let me check. So I'm reading here that normally hopsicots are used in the Baroque period and also the Renaissance. Era. So Baroque includes like fast movement, ornamentations, dramatic 
alterations in tempo and volume and expressiveness. So I feel like this is quite a good representation for Telema as well in terms of like tempo, volume and like dra dramaticness, like the dramatic effect. She is pretty dramatic and like th almost theatrical. She is very flamboyant in a way. So I think it kind of captures like the, the harpsichord does capture that the Baroque feeling. So then we have the Renaissance era because um, harpsichord is also used plenty in the Renaissance era and it also has the meaning of like rebirth. And then I think m maybe it in a sense it's like Telema does have a life before she was a shoe and once she became a shoe, I think this goes for every shoe out there as well. Um, there will be like rebirth in some way. There will be awakened as a shoe. I think it's, it's a good idea and concept that could be linked to the concept of a shoe instead of just purely telema so that renaissance i don't know whether they're gonna use like this kind of concepts in other pvs but yeah i really like it i really really enjoy the music and the instrument that they used here it does give me that like hey i'm suddenly taken back to like the 18th century to like the european times like 14 17 centuries it it is really really nice so renaissance is about like 14 to 17 and i think baroque is like 18th century instead we have romantic we have classical era as well but i'm not gonna touch on that because i i, I kind of forgot my piano theory as i mentioned but yeah it's really interesting let me know what you think about this guys Feast of Fun Inviting Movie. So it's like a feast. Oh. Actually, her whole... Like, oh my goodness, guys. I just noticed. Wait a second. Yeah, it is very like 14th to 18th century European times because the clothes that she wears on the mannequin, like her retinue, yeah, it's, it's very symbolic of the, the previous century times, right? Like Baroque, Renaissance era. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, then maybe this is her, this is her rendition. This is her variation or like her take on that kind of outfit, that kind of style of clothing. I do love the previous European times uh, clothing because it's so elegant and it's so pretty. Though I think it's going to be quite difficult to like wear and also like take off, right? So maybe that's how, yeah, she, she cuts things off. See, she cuts the ribbon. She's like, eh, I don't think this is it. Let's take out the ribbon. Let's. Let's do without it. And at the end, she sits. And then there's like the, the coat around her legs, right? Oh, sorry. I'm... And then she takes it off. She's like, you know what? It's leg time. We don't do with that. This is my style. The Telema fashion artist icon style. So I think she's a fashion, fashion um, designer. Back in the times, before she became a, a, awakened as a shoe. And mind you, she's the number one. She's ranked number one <laughs> shoe of pleasure in, in the seven shoes. But she's also giving her own take on the music as well. So they use like harpsichord and then, but they add, like back then, obviously, they didn't have all this like uh, post production music to add in beats, add in those drops and everything. But she, like, Hoyo Mix did add it. It adds that emphasis that like Telema has her own style. Like she takes uh, inspiration from like the previous era the PE era, like the previous European era. And then now she has her own like style is what I'm saying. No, I like it. I like it a lot. Like, oh, perfect, perfect PB for her, honestly. One last thing before I go, guys, I want to remind you that the CNVA for Telema is the same as Timido Cute from Ipishu 2. <laughs> I, I feel like, damn, that the, the CNVA, let's just give the VA, like, some credit, seriously, because I cannot hear Timido from Telema's voice. I absolutely cannot. It's so different. Timido is, like, so soft-spoken, so cute, like, ah, okay. Nah. And then Telema is like, <laughs> and have, if you guys have seen her gameplay, she, she has this laugh that she does during her gameplay. <laughs> oh my goodness, I... Timido, huh? <laughs> Oh, the new Hongkai in fact logo. Very minimalistic. Perfect for part two, honestly. So yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I am very excited for the actual PV coming out this Saturday. So Saturday around, I think, like the same time, 7.30, I will be scheduling my live stream. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Very excited for a PV. I, yeah, how many times have I said it at this point? Telema, I will definitely be pulling for you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a good time playing Hongkai. Have fun playing Hongkai, guys. Bye.